This is Eric from Cartesi and today I would like to talk to you about why. Why Cartesi matters. Because usually I would come here and throw lots of technical words like risk 5 optimistic roll-ups, deterministic virtual machines. Although several people out there understand blockchain tech and can make sense of these words, some people don't. It's important for me to make sure to show how Cartesi fits into the logical evolution of blockchain tech. For that, I would like to go back in history and talk a little bit about Bitcoin. Until 2008, there was a very hard problem in computer science and distributed systems, the well-known Byzantine Generals problem, as described on an academic paper from 1982. It goes somehow like this. How can you guarantee that given multiple entities separated by distance, these entities can reach full agreement before action is taken? In other words, it is the consensus problem. In order to create a decentralized cash system like Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto had to solve this hard problem. So Bitcoin is not only the solution for decentralized money, which is massive by the way, but it's also the solution for this very hard problem in computer science. Therefore, Bitcoin is not only the first decentralized money it is also the first blockchain and the first application for blockchains. The bigger question then is, what else can we do with blockchains? What else can we do with decentralized computing? That was the problem that Ethereum set out to solve. How to create a decentralized computer, a worldwide consensus-based computer that would allow to disrupt several sectors. One example would be the game industry. Imagine MMRPGs with virtual worlds that could exist virtually forever and whose evolution would be taken care by a DAO. These virtual worlds would not have its destiny tied to any gaming company and they would allow for a real persistent economy that would grow inside of it throughout decades. Another example would be industrial IoT eliminating all sorts of intermediaries, peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, universal electric vehicle charging facilities, and self-driving autonomous vehicles that would dispense with any intermediate company like Uber. The problem is with the computational scarcity that we see on Ethereum and other blockchains, it seems that we are very far from these things. DeFi is built under severe restrictions Developers, they have to be almost heroic to work under these computational limits and without a real operating system where they could use mainstream software components. And even when developers are able to pull off these applications, their users must be able to pay the price that grows together with the user base. That's insane. If an application succeeds and has more users, the price should be lower for each user not more. But that's the reality of applications running under blockchains like Ethereum. This is absolutely not a sustainable model for developers or for users. We need something new. Because blockchains like Ethereum have to operate under these severe computational limits, it was not conceivable to have VMs that would support operating systems. With Cartesi, we bring a real operating system to the hands of the app developers. And not only that, we allow them to have computational resources to build much more powerful applications. In other words, we are bridging the painful gap between the great innovation brought about blockchains and the power of mainstream software development. When we have these two things together, it's like an explosion because not only current dApp developers will have much more power to create much more expressive dApps, but also it will open the gates to millions of developers that are out there today and are intimidated to learn blockchain tech. They will be able to use the languages, tools, libraries and services they are used to when they go about implementing desktop or web applications on Linux. Unless we are able to bridge this gap, Blockchain tech will not be able to tap into its full potential and most developers will be left outside. 
Bitcoin created blockchains. Ethereum and other blockchain supporting smart contracts created programmability on top of blockchains. However, this is not scalable and doesn't provide the tools developers need. Cartesi brings computational scalability and the tools that developers are looking for. So it is a natural progression. And that's why we are super excited to make it happen. Thank you for your support. See you next time.